well, we got a box in today from overseas for parts for a pre-bug, and this is literally how it just showed up to my doorstep. The post office lady literally knocked on my door and was like, I got this box in my car for you that is in very, very bad condition. This is it. <laughs> Look how bad this is. We should have pre-bug plastics in here and a few other little goodies. Hopefully it all made it. This thing is just straight in here. How did this not fall out? Where's the Where's the keys for it? No. These definitely fell out. Look at these holes. Oh no. Oh no. We're in here. Oh, the keys are gone, dude. Oh. No. Oh. What? There's no way. How are they literally right? Look at the bottom of the box. How did they not fall out? Oh, dude. There's no way. All right, I don't know how at all, but everything made it and nothing looks to be destroyed. I don't even get how the keys were just in the bottom of that box, but we got so lucky, boys. But we got cater cover, side stand, tail light, all the plastics, and uh, the ignition. I love this website because it's good for very, very cheap plastic. So I was able to literally get all these plastics for $100. But this is the quality you get when you come to it. Also, these are unpainted, so they're literally like a black, Primer. All right, so if you watched in the last video, the last couple of videos, we've been doing giveaways and uh, just basically going off a random comment and giving them some stuff. So carbon fiber straight mirrors, universal. You can use them on any skirt, along with some bar ends. So, like I said, just choosing a random comment from the last video. It's up and down, find a random one, and boom. Forget you to pick that front wheel up and send it. I like that. I like that. So Troy Knighton nine one three four. He's always commenting on the video. Shout out Troy. You won the giveaway. All right, one more giveaway for you guys. I got a Zuma sticker kit, which I was gonna end up using on the pre-bug right here. But I'm going with a blue seat and I don't think it's gonna match so well. It's got all three stickers for the side panel and the front panel. If you want some fresh stickers for your bike, here you are. Also, we're going with a cup holder. You can carry your spare spark plug right in there. Throw a beer in here, whatever you need. This thing mounts right in here. So you can utilize one screw, but you gotta screw it into your panel. I guess this could be universally used on multiple scooters, as long as you're willing to make the mount for it. So leave a comment down below, and uh, we'll pick someone random for that. All right, we're about to get to work on the Zumas. I just pulled out all the scooters um, because I impulsively decided I'm moving the bug to the backyard for now. Way too much going on in this little space. Yeah, moving too much stuff around in here every time I'm working on stuff in tight corners here and uh, we got plans for the bug, but it's gonna be in the beginning of the year, so we're just gonna move it to the backyard for now, and then we'll move it back in here, and uh, I don't know, am I doing it for no reason? I kinda of feel like I'm doing it for no reason. Oh well, well, if this skewer doesn't look familiar, this is the auction yard Zuma that we built up. My buddy grabbed this for $200 from the auction yard. We ended up completely rebuilding the whole entire engine on the thing. Got it super dialed with a stage six MK2 cylinder in there, stage six intake, Polini carb, uh, stage six crank, Top performance CVT, has all the nits and bits. Just the exterior of this thing is absolutely clapped. So we got holes in all the plastics. The plastics are repainted. The cluster has like fell through up here. The stock shock is completely blown out. So long story short, I got this clapper zoom and I ordered everything I needed to rebuild this one. The problem is this one has no titles. I ended up buying this Zuma and the blue mint one over here that's been parked over here. Just bone stock. I bought both those off my buddy. So now I have everything to rebuild that one scooter that's clapped out in the backyard, but this scooter also needed a lot of things. So I ordered a body panel kit for that one, which I'm gonna end up putting on here because this one's actually titled and it's a full built motor. And I totally forgot I bought this black Zuma like last year and I parted it out. I have all the panels from that too. So now I have two black panel sets. So this one's gonna go on the free scooter. To make things less confusing, we're gonna start calling this one the poop scoot. I bought a bunch of stuff for the poop scoot. There's a whole box of goods in here. So I think I'm gonna take all these new bits, put them on the one that is titled, make it 100 times better, and then we'll take all the scraps and bits and fix up the poop scoot. Now this thing also really needs a pipe. It has everything built in the engine and then has this. Got a new tail light here. We're gonna throw that on because this one's just very faded. Just looks like junk. New shock. This gas tank. One of these right here is broken. So uh, need to throw a tack weld on it. But in order to do that, I need to clean the tank out and you know take the whole thing out. But we have this other tank here. So I figured I'm just gonna clean this one up, swap it onto this one. I'll fix this one when we put it back on the poop scoot. 
So I got a brand new shock for it, but I did not realize this shock was so tall. It needed it because it was so soft before you're bouncing off the scooter, but it definitely sits taller than I'm used to on any of my other pre-bugs. And then we went ahead and just threw on a brand new tail light because the one that was on it was super faded. And so as you can see, we got everything roughly set on there, but there's things we have to do. So I took this headlight bezel out. I'm actually trading a friend for a different one. So I have the one off the poop scoot, but it's red. So we're gonna take the headlights out of it, um, sand it down, primer it, and paint this thing black again. Set these on there just to get a look, and I definitely want to change the floor and the underbelly uh, to the new panels because the new ones are way cleaner. And uh, I thought I can get away with just throwing these on, but definitely not. It looks really bad. So uh, we're gonna have to take that underbelly, cut it out for the side stand on the bottom, and then swap everything over. Took it all back apart. I thought I was gonna get away with using the faded one, but it just did not look good. Took the headlight bezel all apart, went ahead and got that ready for paint, sanded it all down, got it as smooth as it can get. The paint on it wasn't actually too bad, so threw some primer on that after we got it roughly sanded. Went ahead and put a couple coats of primer on it, letting it dry like 10 minutes in between, and then we matched the underbelly for the actual kickstand. The other one was cut crazy, so we were able to get away with a smoother cut, and it fit pretty good. So I used my favorite paint to fix the bezel, which is some trim and bumper paint. It has like a textured look to it, so it looks pretty OEM. Looks good on plastic parts. And then like I said, we threw the fresh tank on it because the other one had the snap stud on it, which we'll fix and we'll put on the poop scoop. But for this one, we want everything clean. As you see, we got most of the plastics on. I wasn't able to run the new key ignition because I forgot that the reason this thing has no seat lock, it doesn't have the bar here for the seat to lock. So I already had a key ignition, so it was kind of pointless to put this one on here if I wasn't able to use the seat lock. I have a brand new seat over here, but the problem is this is like a China remade seat. It's down here, I don't wanna pull it out again. And it's super fat. So with this already having a tall shock, as you can see the height of this Zuma is really tall. That's why it's kind of leaning with this shock in it. I don't really like this. It's at the lowest setting it possibly could be at, but I don't really like how tall this is. Super goofy feeling, so decided to just run the junk seat on it for now. I do have a new seat cover for it. Let's just run the junk seat. It doesn't have a seat latch, but it helps it sit a little lower. It feels a little better. I just wish there was a way that we can get rid of that. As now it's working and I'm able to keep the key ignition and the seat lock for the other, other poop scoot in the backyard. We got this all thrown together and as you saw, I used trim paint. It makes it look OEM. It has like a little bit of satin look to it, almost a little bit of like a texture look as well. So this looked really good, turned out amazing. So I got the headlights back in there. Now we can throw it back on the front shield, put it all back together and finalize this thing. All right, as you can see, we got the Junkyard Zuma looking super fresh. Got all the fresh hardware on our fresh plastics. Everything looks good now. This was all like bent in, if you remember, there's nothing to mount it to. The only thing is the seat, but like I said, it's what we're running for now. But new shock on her. The motor is still mint. We just freshly built this motor. Not even like 100 miles on this thing yet. The plastics are pretty decent. They fit decently well for how cheap they were. The only thing I want to do is still pipe. Fresh tail light. Still got the rack to put on. I'm actually going to cut it and then repaint the rack. But uh, everything in here looks absolutely amazing. New plastics all around. So very stoked on how this thing turned out. Next thing we got to do is get this poop scooter ready. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. But I know first thing we got to do is clean this thing off because it's just full and full of crud everywhere you can see. Still need to power wash this from the last ride I went on, which we went through the tunnels and completely thrashed this thing. So both pre-bugs all cleaned up and looking absolutely amazing. Finally got this one cleaned up after it's been sitting like that for like two months now. So she's all shining now. Junkyard scooter looks really good with all the new plastics on it. So stoked on how this thing turned out. So this is a dialed dialed motor build. I almost wish this motor was in this bike, but I think we're going to be changing this setup here very, very soon. So poop scoot's looking a little better after being cleaned up, but as you can tell, this thing is rough. It was sitting in the guy's backyard for I don't even know how long. Vegas weather is very crucial on everything. Dries out all the plastics, takes colors away from everything. We have a snap screw in the master cylinder, which kind of sucks, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, yeah, everything's faded. There's some broken pieces on it. Hence the name Poop Scoot on this thing. But we at least got to get it cleaned up and running for whatever we do decide to do with it. Alright, along with uh, Poop Scoot here, with the new seat and everything that's sitting on it, um, the plastics are just roughly, everything's roughly just set on there to get a look at it. As you can see, I don't even have the headlight bezel in. And uh, yeah, there's stuff to be done to this scooter. Poop Scoot looks like a Zuma now at least, but along came a bunch of parts for it. Um, most importantly, we got a kicker cover here. And we got all the guts that we got to build the kicker cover with. So uh, somewhere in here, all these little pieces 
And then, uh, of course, we got a bunch of other random goodies. Always need these clutch nuts because these always go after a little bit of a. I don't know why, but I got three kickstart engagers. That must have been an accident. Um, this thing was missing a lot of stuff for the brake parts, so I had to get brake nut, new brake cable. We got some fuel lines, spark plug boot, little oil uh, screw. Some brake levers because these ones are chipped off and broken. That one's not, but it's bent a little bit. Yeah, seat lock, ignition, air shrouds, a bunch of little random goodies. So first things first, I need to put the kicker cover together, put all the guts in it. There's a shim missing. We're missing it. Yep. Well, that failed. Well, there we have it. We got three more pre-bugs added to the fleet. We got the Junkyard Zuma looking absolutely amazing now. If this thing had the new pipe on it, this thing would look brand new, fully complete. So, very stoked on how this turned out. It looks so good with the black plastics I've been wanting, an all-black Zuma. Ended up with two of them now. I didn't even realize I had these plastics because they were up in the attic. And uh, this came off the pre-bug I bought that was actually a taco front end. So, I bought a pre-bug found out that the frame was bent because someone got in a front end collision and the front wheel was all the way hitting the underbelly plastic. When I picked it up, it was all taken apart so I didn't notice it. Ended up completely parting out that scooter last year, I believe. And then uh, was able to utilize those plastics right here for the poop scoot that was missing near everything. So we're still missing a lot of things on this scooter. But the only thing I don't have is the hinge that mounts to the seat here and it's impossible to find for some reason. So if anyone has a pre-bug seat hinge right there, let me know. I'm not too sure what we're going to do with this one. If we're going to fully build it, part it out, sell it, I don't know. But then we also got the bone stock boy right here, which I don't plan on building. Probably keep this one bone stock because it's just two mint. So only 2,500 miles on it. It's the disc brake front end one, and I love this color. Three more ads to the fleet. You'll see some more coming with this scooter for sure since it's fully done. It's ready to ride. Sold a couple Zumas lately. Got a couple more back. It's like these things just... Keep coming to me. Stay tuned for more to come with the Zuma. As always, make sure you go down and like this video. Show some support to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.